First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. Andrew, the story we're going to right now, explain what's happening here. Uh, yeah, so on the line right now is Dr. Evan Sandler. He is the uh, uh, owner of CNY Veterinary Medical Services in Westmoreland. And there was a Facebook post that was going viral with some accu- accusations that were lodged against CMI Veterinary Medical Services stating that uh, an elderly gentleman had brought his dog there, Shane. And they just gave the dog away. And they put the dog up for adoption without, okay. now according to this post, of course, mm-hmm. without the owner's consent. And then there were subsequent issues with the conditions of the dog and it's... Uh, you know, it looked like it had been dragged around, allegedly, and uh, me- you know right. mistreated. So, Doctor Evan Sandler, good morning. Thanks for coming on, and uh, we'd like to hear your side of the story. Good morning. Um, first thing I want to say is your previous caller, Bill. Yes. I know him. I love him. He's an awesome guy. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> and a Mets fan. That makes him that much better. And, so, yeah. and another Mets fan. Yes. Yes. So, um, but what I'm gonna so when Shane came to us, uh, I'm going to tell you, I spoke to the owner over the phone one evening. Mm -hmm. Uh, This was around the 25th. Um, The gentleman is a very, very sweet man. I really care for this man. Um, And he was borderline tears over the fact that his dog has a very difficult time getting up and around, and he has hurt himself now several times lifting and trying to move the dog around. Okay. And he is worried that he has to put his dog down because of the fact that he physically cannot care for the dog anymore. Okay. And I felt so sorry for the man. I really did. Um, So I told him that on certain situations, um, in, in conditions like this, I could probably find in a heartbeat somebody else that would be able to be able to better care for the patient. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he said, oh, my God, really? And I said, yes, I, I actually have several staff members that when your dog is there, just love them. So I think I'd be able to do it, no problem. And I said, we just put up new medications that may help him move around. You just gave one dose. Let's, let's wait a minute. You know, don't tell me anything tonight. Yeah. Call me tomorrow. If you want to do that, let's do that. And he said, okay, that, that's a game plan. All right. He called in the morning. He spoke to one of my receptionists. And he told the receptionist that he spoke to me, and he wants to follow through with what we had discussed. Got it. Um, my receptionist went to me, and I told him, this is what we discussed. So if he wants to follow through, that's fine. He brought the dog back to us, and he signed a legal form that is stated right on top, pet relinquishment form, please read carefully, and it states the full intentions without question, you know, nothing hidden, nothing vague, you know, every everything, it, there, there yeah. is no question of what you're signing. Bill, this, uh, and they did post uh, a copy of the pet relinquish agreement on their Facebook page reading, I, the undersigned, certify I'm the owner of or an authorized agent for the owner of the animal described below. I hereby relinquish ownership and all rights to the animal described below and transfer ownership of this animal to CMI Veterinary Medical so Services. How did, we, how did we get to the point where they're saying you did it without his permission? Well, okay. Um, so the gentleman called me back two days afterwards to get an update on his page on, on the dog. And I told him that the dog has been rehomed. He is doing well with his new home. Yeah. And he, that this is where he said, wait a minute, what are you talking about? Mm. And I said, okay, wait a minute, what are you talking mm. about? He said, I thought my dog is being there to be treated for physical therapy rehab. And I said, wait, whoa, where did that come from? We don't do rehab. You know, I have had very limited training in it so i can give tips and suggestions but i am not trained in physical rehab at all i never said that i have no idea where this is coming from i said and you signed a relinquishment form right and he said i and he admitted i never read the form Mm -hmm. i said oh "Oh, god yeah 
So, so he not only did he, did he, once yeah. he signed, yeah. I offered him. I said I can make you a copy of it. He said, it, "What good would it do me?" I said, "If you want one, you can have one." And I explained to him that the dog is doing well in his new home. And I said, "Look, here's the deal: you legally signed him over to me. I legally adopted him out. I cannot force the new person to give him up. Right? But I am willing to ask." Yeah. And he said, you know what, no, it sounds like he's in a good place. I, I, it sounds like this person can give him the care that he needs, so we're good. And I said, okay, we're good? He says, we're good. So this was around the 26th now, because it was the day after. Okay. This week, past weekend, this whole thing blew up on social media. And I will tell you, the original owner never posted a thing. So the man, the old, the older man, did not post a thing. This none of this was him himself posting. Okay. So, I after this whole explosion, I call him up a second time and I said, "I'm really confused. I thought everything was good. I thought we were under an understanding here. You know." Yeah. And he said to me at this time, "I um." would it be possible to just get some updates on how the dog is doing? And I said, absolutely. And I had already spoken to the newer owner, and she said she would be happy to do that. Um, she would be willing to send pictures, photos, videos, etc. cetera. Um, and she was in full intentions of doing that. Yeah, yeah. So how – ha- yeah, so go ahead. So he called back – I'm sorry. No, nope, go ahead. A couple of hours later – I said, you know what? I did change my mind. I would like to get the dog back. Oh, my God. In which case, I said to him, all right, look, understand again, I cannot legally force her to do this, but I will ask. Yeah. And so I did. And, um, of course, she she was very sad. I mean, for the past, she only had the dog six days, but she ordered one wheelchair for the dog, which didn't fit, so she had to return that. Her and her um, significant other were building a new wheelchair, and they were testing him and using it, and they were saying he was actually doing really well with it. Um, and they spent almost $1,000 in parts doing that. But she also understands where he's coming from. She you know, was like, you know what, if, if that's what everybody thinks is in the best interest, okay. And she wow. did. So she relinquished the dog. Yes. Wow. So that was, so that happened, I don't even know what day we are, Monday. Okay. So the day he asked for the dog back, and the first and only time this gentleman asked for the dog back, he got him back the same day. This is, this is how these things blow out of proportion on social it, media. It, this, yeah. was, this is why I'm so well, it's, it, it's showing and stricken, and it sickens me because from, from my standpoint, please, all we cared about was helping the dog and the, and the gentleman. Yeah, we yeah. had no intentions of doing anything else. You know, I received. You know, we didn't take money from him. We didn't take uh, money from the for adoption. They, there was no charge for that. There was no money anywhere. This was nothing but trying to help a, yeah. a person who was getting hurt with his dog and provide a hopefully a better home for him. Please don't let this be the last time you do a good deed, but I can hear myself I'll, saying it. I'll be honest, this, I'm afraid to. It. I know, yeah. this is what I get for trying to do something, go, going over and above and trying to do something good, Andrew. Now, one other element of this is, is apparently there's a woman, Miss Grossman, who claims that the dog has since passed away due to the care of the, and again, this is what she's claiming, due to the care of the dog under the new owner's watch can you can you comment on that only that i have never i have not seen a report from the other veterinarian who did the euthanasia yeah. okay. or <clears throat> so i cannot say uh any reasoning as to why they claim that the dog was euthanized i will tell you that those pictures that they put up of the dog um are real pictures that is the dog sores uh but what i also want to explain is that when the dog came to us um, almost, I'm not going to tell you all of them, almost all of those sores the dog came to us already having. With the original the, uh, the owner. Sores, yeah. 
Correct. The sores on both of his elbows were already there. Wow. Okay. The lick granuloma, which was the sore on the um, top of the carpus, was already there. And there's evidence in those pictures of the fact that this was a chronic condition. Um, the terms are called lichenification, hyperchromasia, hyperkeratosis. Those are all evidence that this has been a chronic, ongoing condition. This would not have happened in six days. Right. So those are all there. Now, I will tell you, there was a new sore on the paw pad, on the back of the paw pad. 